The Advanced Pike Push-Up. A quality exercise, but the jump between the standard pike push-up and the advanced pike push-up is deceptively difficult. And yet we cannot get away from the fact that if you want to build overhead pressing strength, particularly for calisthenic skills, you will struggle to find a better exercise. So today we'll dig into how we can bridge the gap between this and this. How are you doing Cali crowds? Jumping straight into it today, I'm going to start by saying this video will not just be me telling you you can do an advanced pike push-up once you can do 10 standard pike push-ups. I'm not going to patronize you like that. Instead, what we're going to go through is specifically how you can progress yourself up to the advanced pike push-up and having the strength to be able to do it. That being said, I will assume that by virtue of you clicking on a video labeled advanced pike push-up that you can probably already do the standard pike push-up. But if that isn't the case, I have a quality set of videos to teach you how to do the standard pike push-up. Definitely check them out. I'll link them down below as well. But that actually segues to the first reason why so many people cannot do the advanced pike push-up. And that reason is their standard pike push-up form. Both the pike and advanced pike push-up use the delts as the primary driver, but in the standard pike push-up, it's a lot easier to cheat and leverage the chest. So the first step to getting from pike to advanced pike push-up is to make sure that your pike push-up form is on point and through a full range of motion. Again, take a look at my pike push-up tutorial if you are struggling with any aspect of this. Okay, let's talk progression, specific progressions that will get you from pike push-up to advanced pike push-up, starting with the advanced pike hold. This is a great place to begin. We want to learn what the start and the end point of the advanced pike push-up should look like. And in the advanced pike hold position, we build strength as well as develop shoulder flexion range of motion, because for most of us, this will actually feel like a stretch, especially if we aim to really push tall through the shoulders, as we should be. We want to lock out those elbows by visualizing screwing in the hands. Really push for that nice body line as well. We want to get hips stacked over shoulders, shoulders over elbows, elbows over wrists. This makes sure we are programming in range that will translate into quality advanced pike push-ups that can subsequently build to ridiculous pressing strength. The advanced pike push-up also requires us to move while being upside down as well. And so the advanced pike hold actually allows us to get familiar with that feeling before we start to layer on the aspect of movement. But this is an isometric exercise and static holds only get us so far. Which brings me on to the next progression, the advanced pike shrug. Now we start to introduce a little bit of range. In the pike push-up, the first movement involves us taking our scapula from an elevated position with our shoulders by our ears to a depressed position with our shoulders away from the ears. By working on the advanced pike shrug, we ensure that we have the stable foundation to be able to do this. The aim here is to build on the cues from the advanced pike hold, keeping those arms locked, elbow pits pointing forward, but now we're going to break the line that we mentioned earlier. Rather than maintaining the hips stacked over shoulders, over elbows, over wrists, we introduce the forward and slightly downward movement before resetting and pulling back into our straight body line. This dominoes into the next progression, which is the advanced pike walk. The first time you do this, it will feel like a walk of shame. You won't feel coordinated and it might actually feel more like an advanced pike waddle. But keeping to the same cues as the other progression, so locking out the elbows, pushing through the shoulders, the advanced pike walk will add a layer of variability to our strength foundation, building good straight arm pushing and further developing that shoulder flexion. The position we're looking to finish in is basically a high plank, so you actually get a bit of core thrown in there too. Okay, so we've got familiar with being upside down, we've introduced a layer of movement and we've got that scapula strength to a place where we want it to be. Now we need to start tying this all together and making it look more like an advanced pike push-up and we can do that with the advanced pike push-up negative. This is the eccentric of the advanced pike push-up where we only look to do the lowering phase but there are a few cues that you should look out for. We should be looking to keep our elbows stacked over our wrists the whole time, even though the arm bends. Shifting the elbows out or to the side 
can have bad knock-on effects to the body line we end up holding, as well as shifting the focus from the delts to more of the chests. Once you get to the bottom, reset and go again. I would highly recommend that you do not just do this on the floor and that you go through a full range of motion, meaning you'll need to elevate your hands as well as your feet. The thing to note with all eccentrics though is that it places a huge toll on your joints. So make sure that you're doing this for a low volume to begin with, maybe stick to that one to five rep range and take really big breaks between your sets and listen to your body as well. It is so easy to overdo it with eccentrics. And finally, the advanced pike push-up basically wraps all the things we have spoken about so far into one movement. We're breaking the line to shift slightly forwards. We're depressing the scapula on the way down. We're keeping our elbows over our wrists. And upon pushing back, we're making sure that our back doesn't sag and arch, but we're pushing tall again through the shoulders and returning to that straight body line, arms fully locked out. Guys, it can be so difficult to go from pike push-up to advanced pike push-up. I mean, we're basically pushing our whole body weight more or less but use the progressions that we've gone through today to build up to it and you'll be surprised by your own strength when you get there. But guys, I wanna know how your pike push-up journey is going. Which one of these progressions are you at? What are you struggling with with the pike push-up? Let me know down in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.